What is going on, my friends? Lunar Fury here. If you watched my video, the previous two videos, you know that I finally got four star star screen in Transformers Earth Wars. And if you may or may not know, but Star Scream, my friends, Star Scream is my favorite Transformer character. In the 1986 animated movie, most people were bothered by Optimus' death and all the Autobots that were slaughtered. Before that, not me and my friends. What got me was when Galvatron was like, Here's a hint! And Starscream turned black and then into ash in front of my child, innocent little eyes. I don't know, my friends. I've always... I've always enjoyed the villains and, and things. Thundercats, I loved Mumra. Uh, G.I. Joe, I was all about Cobra. He-Man, I was all about Skeletor. Uh, that's just the way I've always been. Transformers, I loved the Decepticons, and Starscream was my favorite, my friends. And we've got Combiner Wars, Leader Class Starscream. I actually picked this character up Two days after my birthday back in the beginning of November, um, when I, I got a paycheck like two days afterwards, and I was looking for the Voyager class Titans Return Galvatron, and I stopped in a Kmart that was close to work on the way home, and uh, this this bad boy was sitting on the shelf, and I was like, it must be fate. So I got him for my birthday. Let's look at all the box art here. Let's turn this back around, my friends. Starscream commands one of the most fearsome military units from Cybertron, the Seekers. The squadron has brought him great power and glory, but that means nothing as long as Megatron is the one who rules the Decepticons. Until Starscream can claim that throne, you will have to be content to be the king of the Seekers. Start, oh, and then the rest of it's all different languages. Yeah, it even comes with a little crown. It's so cool. It's it's as close, I guess, as you can get to the masterpiece Starscream with the crown and... and and cape like the 86 movie as you can get without it being masterpiece oh well, my friends i love it and look it's got 16 steps to go from robot to jet and actually the with the box art it looks like it's a cool figure in a jet mode i'm very excited uh, this originally was meant to be the first in my lore series but uh Circumstances prevented it. Uh, I ended up having to do the uh, the wolf wire and uh, mind wipe because I was going to give those figures to my nephews for Christmas because I had I didn't know them. I didn't have any connection to them. And then of course once I got them out and we're messing with them, I was like, man, these guys are cool and didn't want to give them, but I did. And they know that their uncle got them something cool and loves them. So, anyways. Give me just a minute. We're gonna get this bad boy out and continue. All right, friends, here he is. Back uh, out of the packaging. Let's just, uh, let's just get in on him here. He comes with this cool little gun. It actually fires, guys. Watch this. Bam. Yeah, the gun fires. Fires the missile. There we go. Look, he's got his little cannons on his arms. Look. Classic star scream. Oh, was it? Gnaw rays. Yeah, the cannons on his arm he shot. They were gnaw rays. Look, and there he's got his little crown. There's his uh, Septicon faction symbol. Now, a buddy Sea Dog wanted to see this, so I'm going to show you guys.
And the crown, it just... It basically looks like the crown from from the movie. But see, it's got this little peg right there. See it? I'm going to set it down. And then we're going to come up here. And see, see right there on his face, he's got a little peg. Now, it looks like if you could get light into his eyes, they would actually glow red. But I, don't, I can't seem to get it at the moment. But yeah, let's come up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you get some kind of light source in there, his eyes would glow red. Unfortunately, my friends, I don't have a spare light handy that I could do that with. But, yeah, all you really do, you just you slide it onto his head there. Ah, hold on, guys. Okay, yeah. And basically, all you do, guys, is just there. It just a little peg goes into the. Oh shoot! Yeah, this is all you do, guys. Just right like that. A little peg fits right into the hole in his head, and bam, he has his crown on. As I wish, I could uh, get a light source so we get his eyes glowing red here. Maybe, in fact, I'll try to pop. Give me just a minute. I'll see if I can find one. Okay, guys. I'm going to try it. Okay, let me try one more thing, guys. I can't seem to get it to do it. I think that beam's too wide. I'm sorry, friends. I even lowered the lighting to try to get it to happen. Can it make it happen? Give me just a second. All right, friends. All attempts at getting getting the light, the eyes, the glow just didn't work. I guess you guys, you may or may not know how much of a star scream nut I am, but. This was the first leader class figure I ever bought. And I'm glad that Takara Tomy's Soundwave was the first leader class figure I held in my hand. Because I probably wouldn't ever have got a leader class figure again after having this one in my hand. I mean, it looks nice. But guys, it's just... you can feel, When you get it in your hands and feel it and try to do it, it just feels like it's made of just cheap brittle it's going to just fall apart plastic and i'm a little i'm i'm really disappointed about it i mean he looks great but he's just i feel like he's going to just bust apart it any second just messing with him that, that, that takara tomi titan's return you know lg36 sound life he just feels like a solid figure and is he and he still is my favorite figure even over this star screen because he's just he just doesn't he just doesn't feel solid. And now that kind of sounds like a little bit of a review, but I just wanted to state that. Now, now, Starscream was was always in fact in every iteration of Starscream seems to always be plotting to overthrow Megatron. It's just one of the things I love about him. Yeah, he's the leader of the Seekers, the second in command of the Decepticons. And, uh, I just, I just, I've always loved Starscream. See, I never had Starscream when I was a kid. In fact, I didn't have Thundercracker at Ramjet either. I thought I had one of them too, 
But actually, I believe it was one of the cone heads I had. I had the blue cone head with the brown wings. I believe Dirge is, is his name, but I can't remember 100% because there was a red and a white and a blue in the cone heads. I know one's like Thrust, I think, and one was Dirge. And I can't, the third name's escaping me, but I think Dirge was the blue one, and that's the one I had. I didn't have any of the original three Seekers. Alright. And that's probably why I have an obsession of, like, picking up any little Starscream figure I have. Give me just a minute, guys. I'm going to get him into trance, or into his alt mode. I'll be right back, and we'll continue the story. Alright, friends. I got the jet mode. Let's see here. Now, you don't have to put that there, but I went ahead and did. I like to have all my parts fit together. Yeah. It's a nice little jet mode. I gotta say, this figure was a pain in the ass. He just, he just feels so flimsy. And I couldn't find really any way to store the crown when he's in alt mode, but... I think I'm, I think it might be possible to reverse it onto Starscream's head and it would fit up in there, but I'm not 100%. I mean, all in all, it's it's not a bad little all in all, it's not a bad little jet. I kind of dig it. I believe Yeah, it does. Look at that, guys. The cockpit actually opens. Now that's cool. That is cool. Yeah, my friends, basically what goes on with Starscream, um, you know, after Megatron agreed to toss his Megatron out of the out of Astro Train, Megatron's eyes still function and he's one up bad and he just tosses him right out of the Astro Train. And then, you know, he's reformatted the Galvatron and kills him. He's like, he's like, who disrupts my coronation? And Galvatron's all, coronation star screen, this is bad comedy. And he's all like, Megatron, is that you? And then Galvatron's, here's a hint. And then yeah, and that's what traumatized me. Well, at some point, in season three, he comes back as a ghost and makes a deal with Unicron's head to get his body back. But uh, it wasn't made permanent because Unicron, I guess, figured he'd try to betray him, and he did. And he got killed again, if I'm not mistaken. And then I wasn't a fan of Beast Wars. I hear it's a great like story, but I could never get over the CGI. So I just could not watch it. I still can't watch it to this day because of the CGI. No offense to the people that love it. Some at some point I'm gonna have to have to make myself get through the CGI to watch the story, just for the story. But there is one episode I watched, and that's where Starscream comes back as a ghost, and he possesses Waspinator. That's really about all I remember of it. That's just crazy, guys. And then I watched the Combiner Wars. Uh, those, those little like couple minute. I think it maybe five minutes total card episodes you know, that was done for Combiner Wars. I really don't see why they couldn't have made a 20, 30 minute uh, episode like it deserves, but I was inter Starscream was kind of interesting in that and weird things happened. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm sure most have seen it. I, I mean, I, I, I liked them. I liked those little episodes, but at the same time that they weren't all that great but I enjoyed them just because it was it was something neat so hopefully the Titans return cartoon will be a little better uh, and hopefully Starscream will be back in it I love how in IDW uh, he's like the leader of Cybertron it's just I don't know I really need to start collecting those, but at some point I will. Uh, 
I probably babbled too much, my friends. Uh, there you have it. A little Laura Star Scream and all my history on him, how much I loved them. And just for an example, guys, here is the Revenge of the Fallen. Voyager class star scream. Uh, here is a little tiny legends. Uh, Robots in the sky star scream. And where is yet? He here is. I believe it's like a Legends class type Transformers Prime Starscream. Yeah. I pretty much cannot resist a Starscream figure. In fact, that Starscream figure from Revenge of the Fallen, I believe, is what had me collecting that toy line, even though I don't really care for Bayformers aesthetics. But yeah. There. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I didn't babble too much. Uh, oh, I didn't show you guys this. It's the card, and all it is is basically some box art because there's no specs on it. I guess Combiner Wars didn't have the tech specs. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, remember to stay classy, be good to one another, forgive my babbling, and uh, stay subbed if you are. If you're not, please subscribe. If you like, to hit like. Leonard Fury, over and out. You've been busted.